There it goes. Uh oh. Whoa. <laughs> In fact, the only bike I'm leaving easy access to is the dirt dirt because uh, this hurricane's supposed to hit tomorrow at some point. You know, you never know what's going to happen, but if shit hits the fan, I want a bike that I can get out of here on. Oh, let's get a nice soundtrack for the apocalypse, huh? What's the end of the world without some tunes? Yeah, that's more like it. Uh, you know, there's a fine line between prepping and panic buying, so I always kind of like to go out and see what, what the mood on the street is right before the impending doom of a hurricane. You know, my life is a never-ending series of existential crises, so... A crisis? <laughs> so, I, when everyone else starts panicking and feeling the existential dread and doom of a huge hurricane coming, guess what, baby? I'm like, this is how I feel all the time. Here it is, baby. You know the end is near. Even the stabbing grabs out of gas. It's weird, you never really expect if the streets are going to be deserted or if they're going to be full of people either trying to get out of town or groceries, get water, get plywood. Go see what the scene is like at the local grocery store. I wonder if it's like packed to the brim or if there's no one there. Just like the middle of the afternoon on a weekday. Woo! Still does wheelies. Middle of the afternoon on a weekday and just like barely any traffic on the road what it reminds me of is riding around during quarantine now, i know quarantine was horrible for a lot of people and really hard to deal with i always try to walk on the bright side of the street you know what i mean yeah you, you got to look on the sunny side of life baby and i'll tell you during quarantine riding a motorcycle around was the best there was no traffic anywhere the whole freaking town was your playground all right let's see, see what's going on at the Publix. Besides me setting off every single car alarm in here. Eh, I wouldn't say it's super packed. Is it not super packed because they've already run everybody, run them out of all the water and toilet paper? Let's go inside and check. It's quiet, you. Oh no, not the freaking corn dogs, baby. I always feel bad for people at the grocery stores right before a hurricane when you're supposed to be just like prepping and getting ready and being with your family. These guys are out here freaking working and dealing with everybody being super stressed out. Well, yeah, there's still some on there. It's not as bad as the pandemic. At least I can still have a drink of water and wipe my ass if I really wanted to. <laughs> or at least wipe with paper towels. Paper towels and Kleenex, that's what everyone was doing with during the quarantine. What else sells out? Canned stuff? <laughs> let, me, let me clue you in on a natural disaster secret. Always go for the New England chunky clam chowder. People are always afraid to eat that cold, but I don't mind, baby. And all the managers are looking at me double taken. I wonder if they got extra duty out to prevent people from stealing today. Well, it's either that or I've got a gigantic red, white, and blue helmet on with a camera hanging off of it. One of the two. Not as bad as quarantine in there, but definitely all hands on deck. And like I said, the double takes might have been because of the helmet or might have been because I walked out real quick with nothing in my hands. I'll tell you, stopping somebody from shoplifting food, from shoplifting groceries, on a normal day, I'd have a hard time not looking the other way. That's it's definitely like uh uh you know what go ahead man eat i ain't gonna freaking i ain't gonna bust somebody for shoplifting groceries during a hurricane if someone's got to shoplift groceries and you want to trick and stop them or collar them during then uh, dude at that point i'm like that let's turn that around that's criminal on you at that point i gotta say and i do prepare i was already prepared before today not like crazy prepare I ain't a prepper or nothing like that but yeah we always got our stock of canned food our our backup water and stuff like that vehicles were already filled with gas so the fact that the gas is out at that gas station doesn't really bother me and I'll, I always keep extra gas for the motorcycles anyway it's a hurricane come on guys I could take a little shortcut nobody minds right thank you very much uh oh it's the fuzz well come on man a hurricane's coming and you got better things to do than mess with a guy who's got a suspended license for a non-violent crime leave me alone man you gotta have bigger fish to fry than old shade tree surgeon the day before the apocalypse mm. nothing to see here officer just a nice young law-abiding citizen out for a little jaunt on his scooter part of the upstanding citizens brigade like i should be Doesn't look like a whole bunch of people are boarding up. All right, 
don't want to get freaking smacked by someone flying around. Oh, never mind. Man, they got it all blocked off, don't they? Well, that's why we took the dirtster, baby. Not exactly the easiest thing to break the old 883 loose, but if you ask politely, it'll go. Oh, they're giving out sandbags there. All that construction dirt going to good use, at least. Don't mind if I do. Hmm, right turn only. That sounds like a rule for somebody else. It's the apocalypse. There ain't no more rules. Come on. Oh, dang, some people are boarding up, though. Yeah, these guys boarded up, too. I love this guy's. <laughs> he's got his uh, his boards up, and he's got spray painted on it, loot and die on the outside. <laughs> yeah, loot my house and die, too. But I'm just saying, if I was a criminal, and I was trying to choose a house to go looting at, it probably wouldn't be the one that said loot and die on the outside of it. Oh, yeah. If it really comes up the gut like they say it's going to be, that's the Hillsborough River right there. That thing's going to be all sweeping over this stuff. Dang, look at the old Wawa. Even the Wawa's got no gas. Or maybe they got gas for the cop cars. They got that sucker shut down and full of the police. Even the Krispy Kreme? They got their boarding up. All right, let's see what the scene is like down at Home Depot. Uh, there were still some cases of water and some toilet paper left at the grocery store. Oh my God, yeah. The Home Depot parking lot is jam-packed in the middle of the afternoon on a weekday. Look at this freaking place. Damn. Let's see if I can park illegally up here and just go take a peek inside real quick. Oh, look at that. They gave me a little pergola just for my motorcycle. Something still left to buy if people are still buying it, right? I got these guys working overtime. Dang. That's what it's like, huh? I don't know if they even got any more ply on the shelf. Yeah, they got it over there. Just the thick stuff, though. This is like all the stuff they use for floors. Yeah. Everything they got left out here is like inch and three quarter inch plywood, which, you know, of course that goes last because it's freakishly expensive. Oh, excuse me, guys. Everybody going at it. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this expensive stuff always goes loud. We can't blame them. Of course, you buy the cheap ones first. Ooh. Guys, I'm just going to squeeze right through here and right past here. Hey, what's up, dude? Good to see you. Doing all right, man? I would stay and talk. I don't want to get in anybody's way that's like getting shit, you know? Do you need a hand? Are you by yourself? Oh, sorry, guys. Here, let me give you a hand, man. This is like particle board. It doesn't really matter, though. It only has to stop one piece of branch, so who cares? How many windows do you have to board up? Two. Just two? They're 44 bucks, which is overpriced for what they are, but, you know, yeah. there you go. It's better safe than sorry, right? I literally just came out here to like film the craziness and I was like, oh shit, what's up, dude? <laughs> oh god, dude, it's like just buying a house and you're like, is every window about to get smashed out of this motherfucker? Yeah. I, I always do stuff. What I do is, after this is all over, sometime during the winter, come here and buy plywood, paint it and seal it, put handles on it, and just like one, two, three, four for every window. It's annoying. It's so easy to say to do that, like when right when shit is happening. You need anything else, man? All right, man. Take it easy, brother. Be safe. All right. This place is getting a little claustrophobic. Let's roll. Awful nice at Home Depot to keep me a personal parking spot for my motorcycle here, even when I don't buy anything. I'll say Home Depot, definitely way more of a madhouse than the grocery store. I guess that's fair, you know. 
if it really gets bad, there could be some pretty intense flooding here. Um, and if it really gets bad, we could be without power for, for days, probably. I mean, if it was as bad as Katrina, which is unlikely, because Katrina was like literally like a, literally a perfect storm, then yeah, things could get kind of rough, but I don't think it's going to get as bad as Katrina. Katrina here. But just because I don't think it should get as bad doesn't mean you shouldn't prepare. It's a weird thing preparing for a natural disaster that you can see coming for days and days out. You have all the time in the world to prepare for a hurricane. You don't have to do it on the last day. But, uh, you know, here in Tampa, we get missed by so many damn hurricanes that, man, it is just really easy to forget that, yeah, we could get hit by one and it could be incredibly destructive. If it goes in the bay and the Hillsborough River floods, it could be bad for Tampa. And even then, you, you can't blame people for waiting until the last minute because sometimes like three days out, I can't tell you how many times, literally in my lifetime, dozens and dozens of times, not a hundred, but dozens, multiple dozens of times, they've said, watch out, a hurricane's coming straight for Tampa and then nothing happens. And it as much as like three days out, they're like, yep, it's coming, you better watch out and then nothing. And I'm not saying, I'm not like making an excuse for people. You should definitely prepare. You should 100% prepare for an emergency. But uh, I guess it's understandable why a lot of people don't. Even though it looks like this time, like we're getting hit. It's supposed to be here in a little bit, like literally tomorrow. I'll come back here tomorrow if I can, after the hurricane's over, if I can even get back here and see how high this river ends up being. Now, honestly, I think that the biggest danger is going to be like these neighborhoods down here where these houses literally, you could look at the river from behind these houses. I would probably be pretty sketched out if I live here. You can see, I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, the big gulf back there that is the river. Probably about to see it up here too. Yeah, out there. That'd be, I'd be sketched out if I lived in one of these houses. And a lot of them are built up in case the river does go up, but oh, some, are, some of them ain't. The thing is, is the river just snakes all through the neighborhood surrounding downtown Tampa. You get outside of downtown Tampa into the suburbs, don't really have that much to worry about, but Hillsborough River just runs all through these neighborhoods, and some neighborhoods are up high and some are not. Obviously, there's a ton of people buying wood right now because basically yesterday and today we got the assurance like, yes, it is hitting Tampa. Uh, you, ain't, you ain't getting out of this one. I think by, by tomorrow, before the storm hits, I'll probably be able to go out again and see a lot more places boarded up. Now you see back there is when I said it snakes through where I was before compared to here, which you can see the river there. The river was going this way back there. Now it's going, <laughs> it's going this way. Like I said, it just, there, it's not in like a straight line. Rivers rarely are. It just runs all through all these neighborhoods in Tampa. And I really think just the bay and Hillsborough River is the biggest weakness that Tampa has when it when it comes to a hurricane. So that's why all these streets back here end in dead ends, because uh, they go right up to the river. And you can see we're not, you actually you probably can't see on the GoPro, but that's downtown Tampa, right down the street, right there. You can see the office buildings. That's where the bay is. So like I said, the river's right here and the bay that it feeds into is literally like a, just a few miles of, well, maybe a few miles, maybe like seven miles away from here. So you get a big old storm surge in the bay, it's coming right up the damn river. So I just crossed the west side of Hillsborough River on Hillsborough Avenue. Uh, so now I'm on the west side, down towns over there uh, all these neighborhoods over there they they these guys could probably get flooding we're not that far away from the river oh these guys have plastic wrap up on their windows oh yeah, never mind that's because they were painting i was like dang i don't know how much that's gonna do buddy yeah see there it's even it's it's coming back towards us i crossed it the other way earlier but now there the river is again coming back this way that's why all these roads snake around back here see these houses are on stilts so a lot of them are a lot of them are set up to handle it you know like look at this one obviously a newer built house crazy expensive built up onto a hill a lot of them were built in mind to take the river's flooding even though like in my lifetime the river i don't think it's ever flooded enough to endanger any of these houses so a lot of these are kind of up but they're not really this guy's putting sandbags up he's got sandbags in the front and like that's got to be one from the 70s that house which a lot of these like ranch style 
just kind of flat houses, they will flood in a heartbeat. And ask me how I know, I used to live in South Tampa in a low flat ranch style house like that. That guy's got vinyl up on his windows. I wonder if that'll hold. Uh, I feel like the vinyl, the air would get under it from the hurricane and rip it off. I used to live in a ranch style house like that. Not a nice one like that. Mine was really shitty. <laughs> but uh, in South Tampa, dude, it rains for 15 minutes and you flood down there. And that house always flooded. We had a couple inches of water on the floor of that house more times than I could count when I was a kid. Just from regular old thunderstorms, let alone a hurricane. Why do you say hurricane so weird? Hurricane, golly. Yeah, the river really snakes all through here. That's why there's just nothing but dead ends and weird streets and then like, you know, all these apartments on the river. Which is, uh, you know, when a hurricane isn't coming, that's really nice. It's a, it's a really nice view to have out there. And then when a hurricane's coming, it's kind of scary. All right, I'm about to go cross the river again from west to east over here. Um, I, I, I'm always like, oh, I filled everything up with gas, but now I've been riding my sports around all day, and uh, I need to put gas in it. Oh, <laughs> sometimes these hood gas stations, uh, sometimes everyone else who freaks out won't go go too deep into the hood, so sometimes you can still find gas at them. Although, I see bags all over that Chevron, so that guy's out. And I have cans of gas at home if I can't find gas out here. Yeah, that guy's pumps are all covered up. No dice at Euros and Seafood gas station. Now, this is a road I've been down a bunch of times. Again, coming west to east, there's the Hillsborough River again. As you can see over here, the bank ain't even barely built up, man. It is. That water is right there already, and it even hasn't even started to rise yet. All these apartments, not the top floors will be fine, but all the bottom floors. So it's even in a depression there from the road. Guarantee that'll be flooded. And people who watch the channel will know that hidden and protected by these projects over here is a really cool bar too. We, we go to a bar we go to all the time called Rick's on the River. Thusly named as it's on the river. Oysters, bar, grill, bait, and you can get your nails done. Well, I was wondering if they'd have a crowd down here. I wonder if they closed up. I'm going to try to come down here later too and see... Uh, <laughs> see how all these guys are doing over there like you see how close the water is as opposed to some of those other houses I was showing you like these guys over here they are way way closer to the water which is usually just because for exactly the reasons you would imagine is uh, there's not as much money in these neighborhoods so I mean that house is rich <laughs> but a lot of this places hasn't been developed uh, had a bunch of new constructions put on it like some of those other places we were just at on the same river they haven't gotten the benefit those guys have but a lot of the apartments and other houses down there that are older and still have the original ha people living in them and haven't been sold for the exorbitant price that you can get for them you know they're in a way rougher position because no one spent the money to make sure their houses don't get flooded i'll tell you that is uh that's the truth the world over if you're poor, they don't quite care as much whether uh, whether your house gets flooded as if you're rich. I ain't even trying to be political on that one. That's just the facts, Jack. I don't make the rules. I'm <laughs> I'm merely observing and reporting. See, you can see where the river goes back that way, curls around again because <laughs> it makes a big loop right here, right by the uh, the Columbus Bridge here, which is bricks on the river is right over there. I wonder if I can the GoPro pick up how it twists and turns and you can see downtown Tampa right there like I said I've only gone a few miles in the direction of downtown from where I was before oh I've tried the stab and grab I've tried the poke and choke I've also checked the steal a meal I'm not having great luck in finding gas right now let's try the old kill for pills oh baby looks like they still got gas here or are they out? Let's see. Non-ethanol pump five? You're trying to get it, but it's not Yeah, it won't run my card out there. I think we're out of the So you're out of everything? Yeah. Okay, no worries. Oh, well, looks like I'll have to fill it up at home. Plus, a man here's got something for me. Let's see. The kill for pills doesn't got it. Maybe the uh, Robin Sob. Can I get 15 bucks on pump two? Knew I could count on the Robin Sob. Frickin' nine bucks? Sportster gets a whole hell of a lot better gas mileage. <laughs> I'm not doing 80 on the interstate. Hey, thanks, man. Took less than I thought.
Take it easy, man. Pro tip, when it's the apocalypse and it becomes really hard to find gas, what you gotta do is just go to the worst gas station you can find that all the people in the suburbs are afraid to go to and all of a sudden, <laughs> they're the only ones with gas. We just crossed the river west to east to get to this gas station and now I'm from there, I'm just like not even a mile down from Rick's on the river where I just was like a half a mile from there. And now I'm going straight south, jumping over the river again south instead of east to west. And again, all the guys who, uh, you guys who watch my videos all the time will recognize this bridge because it's in downtown Tampa. I'm always down here, so I ride over it all the time. And I just like literally a half a mile from here, across the river east to west. Now I'm crossing it north to south. Because like I said, this sucker just snakes all through Tampa. <laughs> and it's like I said you look how high it is down there if it shows up on the camera it doesn't take a whole lot of water to spill over the banks all these happy people riding kayaks at these condominiums that are going up West River a very exciting place to live when there's not a hurricane <laughs> right now we're close enough to downtown like I said we've traveled five or six miles from when I originally pointed out that you could see downtown so we're right down the street from it. Tampa's not a huge city. That's downtown right there, and I'm still heading south. I'm gonna head to Bayshore, which uh, goes around the bay. And of course, you know, Bayshore, the beautiful, that's where the richest houses are. And of course, all the rich houses on the river, but all those beautiful, expensive houses right on the bay and right on the river, well, those are the ones that's gonna be in the most danger, that's for sure. Nothing to see here, sir. Just an upstanding citizen giving a tour of the town law-abiding citizen minding his own business that's right motherfucker keep on rolling i actually don't mind tpd as far as uh law enforcement agencies around the country go tampa police department has actually got like a really sterling reputation they're very highly regarded with their community outreach and how, how they treat people when they pull them over. I'm not saying they're all perfect, dude. Cops are people and some people are assholes. And the job sometimes tends to attract some assholes, that's for sure. You ask any cop, they'll go like, yeah, I know a couple other officers who are assholes, but a TPD as a whole has a really great reputation and my experiences with them have usually been great. Not even a mile away from what is probably the worst, one of the worst gas stations, the Robin Sob, right next to the Choke and Poke and the Steal a Meal and the Kill for Pills is literally the most expensive neighborhood in Tampa proper. That's crazy how literally one or other side of the Hillsborough River just really decides, is this house neighborhood full of million, two million, three million dollar houses and happy families playing out in the street? Or is it full of, <laughs> full of housing projects and and drug dealers and a place where you wouldn't want to walk around at night all these places that have been are within like the nice ones and the sketchy ones are all within like a mile of each other it's crazy like the old saying goes it rains on the just and the unjust alike and when the big floods come they sweep everyone away but i'll tell you the people in these neighborhoods they tend to have a, a little better insurance and uh, their houses are a little higher off the ground. That's Bayshore up there and that's the bay. So we've gone from the river, from a mile from the river to the bay, uh, is a mile away from from sketchy housing projects, drug dealers and, and murderings and all sorts of stuff like that. And here you go, just a mile away, nice idyllic white people heaven. With every, where everyone already has the hurricane shutters built into their houses. And of course, all these big houses on Bayshore here, they're all, they're always really built up, except for the really old ones. There's the news out there doing their report next to the bay going, telling everyone it's gonna flood. <laughs> Probably Bay News 9 or Channel 8 or something out there, just telling everyone like, hey, watch out, better board up. A lot of these guys on Bayshore are boarded up. Of course, uh, something tells me they didn't board up their own houses. Something tells me there might have been, uh, <laughs> someone might have done it for them. Can all, it's harder to see out here as opposed to a place like when I was running up and down the, uh, the Pacific Coast Highway. Harder to see out here the circle of the bay, but you can kind of, you can tell 
the the C shape that the bay is before it goes out into the Gulf of Mexico. Gosh, man, we're just in a really bad spot, Tampa is. We're in a good spot because hurricanes never seem to come here, but a bad spot if they do. Of course, all these guys in the high rise are just gonna get the best view ever of this whipping through the bay. Now, whether they're stuck up there later because there's three feet of water out here, that's a whole other story. I don't know if we'll show up with the GoPro once again. That hill out there, which is the phosphate mine, which right over there, uh, on the other side of that phosphate mine, if you guys watch the videos all the time, I gotta stop saying that, uh, you'll know that's where the bar, the river's edge is, is right on the other side of that. Not, not a hill, it's man-made. Maybe in my videos, since I'm always going all over Tampa and Gibsonton and this whole area, it seems huge. I've just taken you all in like a, like a 15 mile, not even 15 mile radius, like a seven or eight mile radius. I probably only ridden like 20, 25 miles maybe <laughs> it's not big and the whole thing is surrounded by water it's just not surrounded by water like that's an island right there that's uh, davis island so with all those houses over there i'm about to ride over there that's an that's an island and everything else is just snaked through the entire thing with a river hey sure the beautiful indeed baby <laughs> oh i love a girl on roller skates there she is. Whoa, baby. What news channel do you work for? Oh, it's the Spanish channel. No wonder she's hot. I just went by. I was like, yo, that freaking news anchor is stacked, baby. She's carrying dangerous weapons in them stretchy jeans. Well, no wonder, dude. We got the Spanish channels out here out in the field. They always got the hottest weather girls. Half a mile back that way. Uh, these houses appeared much smaller. And so this is the bridge right here that leads to, ba to Bayshore, from Bayshore to Davis Island. Uh, Davis Island is a place I've been to a bunch of times in the videos too, both to uh, a lot of times I go back here to take pictures at the end of Davis Island by, by the water out there on the bay because it's really pretty and makes for a good backdrop. And there's a couple of cool restaurants on Davis Island and a bunch of rich dickhead houses and an airport and Tampa's biggest hospital, which is right downtown, which in all their infinite wisdom, they decided to put Tampa's main biggest hospital on an island in a place where you could get hurricanes that shuts everything down. Kind of weird if you ask me, kind of weird. But you know, all the all the all the rich people down here will definitely get access to it. Big old hurricane comes through, everybody in Davis Island is gonna have their own private hospital. Ooh, these clouds are looking ominous. I just saw this guy in the Bronco looking over at me. I wonder if it's because he knows the channel or if he's just like, ooh, you are also on an off-road vehicle. That is a really cool looking Bronco too. So if you're watching right now, sweet ride. Yeah, everything's closed down out here. Like Davis Island is in probably really really a lot of danger when a hurricane really comes right up the gut so i would i would assume a lot of people here evacuated both because of the danger and because people who live on davis island not everybody there's regular houses here too but most people who live on davis island can actually afford to evacuate i said there's some normal houses out here but on davis island this part of it you've got that house you know right next to those houses and those houses are still worth a million bucks trust me because when somebody buys one of those houses all they're gonna do is knock it down and build a monstrosity there i'm not commenting on it one way or another i really don't care that's how capitalism works anyway so but i can't stop it but they're gonna knock it down and build that so <laughs> these houses over here even though families probably live in them their days are numbered and they're gonna look more like that eventually but Davis Island is a really old neighborhood, so it has a lot of these old 60s and 70s ranch-style houses that were built out here before everybody started building these mini mansions. I really want to come out to the end here because there's like a, a not a sailboat graveyard, but one of those like, you can just dock your sailboat there. People just have little tenders and they throw an acre down and their sailboat's just sitting there. Uh, so I really want to see if any of them moved them and I want to get video of it before and video after. Yeah, cra always crazy to see these mansions like this, this thing, look at that, it's not even done. That house right next to something <laughs> that that looks out of freaking 1971. You always see those houses, especially in Florida, because most of Florida, Tampa, and Miami, especially, 
most of their initial growth, most of the money came here in the 70s and 80s. So that's when a lot of these houses were built. And yeah, it's no secret, but most of the money came here in the 70s and 80s uh, because of cocaine. Like I said, I don't make the rules. I just live here, man. And uh, Florida is a peninsula, which means on three sides, you have more coastline than any other state, except for, I guess, California might have more coastline. I don't know, but you got all this coastline in all these different directions. How do you guard all of that? You don't. So all the money started coming into to Tampa and Miami and all these places and all these houses got built and all these skylines got built on basically on cocaine money. Um, and that's not being like, oh, drug dealers built the skyline. That's not what I'm saying. But when you start dumping a bunch of money into anywhere, it doesn't matter where the money came from, other money comes. So you got a bunch of blow coming into Florida and every, and all this money's here now and it, money attracts money. And then stuff starts getting built and houses start getting built. You've got skylines. There's normally so like, three times as many sailboats out here and boats just like randomly moored out here. So it looks like a lot of people took their boats elsewhere. There's still a lot, but I'm saying there's normally three times this amount out here. Oh, there you go. Water is already up here actually. So the bay is pretty high because normally you can go out on these docks and go out way farther than this. That's why you see these little boats here and the little paddle boats uh, moored out here. That's how people go get to their boats that are just kind of randomly scattered around out there. Very cool. I can see a blue heron over there. Very cool bird. <sighs> yeah, I'll be really curious to see what this looks like tomorrow. Because it's going to get, I mean, even if the hurricane doesn't directly hit us, it's, it's going to get rough out here. I wonder what's going to happen to these sailboats. Like, I feel like if they're not gone, as I try to put my glove on the wrong hand, if they're not gone at this point, whoever owns these boats is either just not going to move them or I don't know. I know some people live on them out there. I can't imagine was they're just moored like over there in the docks, there's like stuff on either side of them. But these guys are just hanging out right in the water. I can't imagine that they're not going to end up like over there somewhere. Well, only time will tell. We'll come back and check again uh, either tomorrow or if it goes too late into the night tomorrow night, maybe Thursday. We'll see what happens going to roll down and just a few miles down that way down Bayshore is is South Tampa and South Tampa right now like I said that's where I grew up when I was a kid and they're under mandatory evacuation right now which I don't know how they enforce that are they going to like go door to door and make sure people are out of their houses I don't really understand what mandatory evacuation means Dude, the weather's looking kind of dicey right now I know there's some early bands showing up before the actual hurricane I still got a couple little things I want to take care of in my yard so uh, well, maybe we'll try to visit South Tampa tomorrow and see, uh, see if they really needed that mandatory evacuation. <sighs> Gotta take a picture of that bench. Looks like a great place to watch the end of the world with a friend. All right, now let's go home and finish taking care of my prep for the hurricane lot to do still. Somebody else who's been working overtime. Anybody who trims trees is out here freaking <laughs> working double time, baby. The Island Hospital. <laughs> Pass that real quick. Just like I said, this is the bay here back off of Davis Island over here and straight into downtown. Like I said, all these locations with all this water. Another, another news crew out here. Another team in the field. Another one right there. Everyone's got to everyone's got to get their shot. Hurricane Ian's coming right now. Oh, take a page out of the Latino news station's book. People usually don't pay attention to the weather, so might as well get a weather girl you pay attention to. We just went like literally again a half a mile from where we got on Davis Island and down this road right here next to the convention center is another island, Harbor Island. So there's actually two islands in Tampa Bay. And one turn later, and we're in the middle of downtown and in all the office buildings down here. So like I said, Tampa ain't a big place. You can't throw a baseball if you got a good arm and not hit water from just about anywhere in it. So insane to see how deserted everything is because everybody's shut down for the hurricane. So it's like, it's 5.01 right now. There's no traffic in downtown Tampa. That's insanity. More news, guys. Everyone's got to get the news, man. Everyone's got to get the shot. 
I mean, that's what I'm out here doing too, so I can't hate on it. Besides, I don't want to hate on it when it comes to those Latin weather girls. All I think about is love, baby. All right, enough about everybody else's problems. Let's go deal with some of mine. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and file this one under do not advise. Got maybe, I just wanted to get out one one last time while I still could. I got maybe like an hour before the hurricane's supposed to be here. Maybe an hour. Wind's obviously picking up. I think biggest danger right now is just falling, like big falling branches. I'm going to try to avoid that. But I think I can safely get out and do a couple laps around town and see what's going on real quick. Again, like I said, I'm filing this under do not recommend. I would definitely say the biggest issue right now is not even the wind. Uh, although we are getting some pretty, pretty strong gusts. Now in about an hour, I am not going to want to be outside. The wind's definitely going to be a really big issue. Right now, the biggest issue with being out on the motorcycle is really just, well, one, the water. It's running like crap because of probably a bunch of water got on the air filter down there. You see the wind whipping around all these trees and palm trees and stuff like that. So power lines and stuff falling in the road is probably the biggest issue right now. But like I said, I'm just going to try to, just going to try to not stray too far from Ybor City. Kind of stay down here and see if I can't get one last look at the water before this storm comes. This is probably a dumb idea. Don't do this. Do I really have to wait for a light in a hurricane or can I just go? Yeah, it's really starting to pick up. I wanted to wait till like the last minute I could get out and still semi safely go check out the water. In about an hour, it's not gonna be safe whatsoever to be outside your house. I mean, it's pretty much not safe now, but y'all know what I mean. There's no way I would get on an elevated high rate right now. This, uh, these gusts of wind are blowing me all around on the motorcycle, like literally just riding down the street at 35 miles an hour. When I first got on the bike, I thought I might try to go over the bridge, over the Palmetto Bridge, just to get a view from there, but I don't even think I'm gonna be on a bridge right now. That seems pretty dicey. It's always weird right before a hurricane, if you didn't know this, there's just like these like flurries and gusts of winds as the bands kind of cycle through. It was raining when I left my house, and uh, a few miles later, it's no really not raining anymore and all of a sudden all the wind died down and there's no more wind it's just it's really weird how it comes in waves like that well i mean i guess it's not weird if you just uh kind of look at the way a hurricane shaped Eh, then it's not really weird is it there's a cop parked down the street or he's gonna pull me over for running a red light i mean come on man i'm trying to i shouldn't be out here anyway like i get that but i'm trying not to be out here for very long see that guy's walking come on i just want to get one last look at the water down there and i'm gonna go to my where i used to live down in palmetto beach i think that ought to give us a pretty good view Ooh, if i can get there before the winds get too bad this is really picking what's a hurricane you see here it's literally supposed to be like over 100 mile an hour winds the the plane that flies into the hurricane was seen 150 mile an hour sustained winds and gusts up to 190 miles an hour that is not something i want to be outside for unless you're going to do like a cat and get on the lee side of a tree <laughs> definitely don't want to be outside it's on a slab sided freaking harley davidson here oh losing the trash can not the trash cans baby everybody knows to put those up come on man see just like literally a quarter mile ago it wasn't raining and the wind wasn't blowing and all of a sudden boom right back to it oh yeah the wind is getting bad enough now there is no freaking way i would get on any kind of elevated highway i would be toast on this bike oh look at that i wonder if that's gonna get ruined they're putting up apartments where the old cigar factory burned down everyone remembers this was the old stomping grounds where every video used to start yeah, it's already nah, that's not bad like this amount of flooding on the ground right now this is pretty much any time it rains but we are in for a lot more rain than this for in my life Oh man, is this going to come out on camera? Let me wipe you guys off here. I've never seen this. I've never seen the tide out like that. Whoa! I thought that those were like piled up over the water. No, there's no freaking water. What? All right, all right. I can't lollygag and freaking just anywhere because I've got a very limited amount of time before I really need to be back indoors. 
and I also don't want to be like too far away from my where I live now that I can't get back there in time. So I'm gonna, definitely going to be careful. I just like got blown away by like, oh my God, that's wild. Never seen it like that. The, I ain't the only one out here getting video. <laughs> There's other people got a front row seat, seat for the apocalypse, baby. I ain't the only one with a with a fatalistic attitude out here. Uh, the apocalypse, I'm most looking forward to it for the memes, you know? Just crazy that like literally it's out so far. Look at the dip. You can literally see where like it drops off from the shelf after the seawall. That's how far down it went. There's not even any water underneath the bridge over there. Well, there's got to be water because I think boats going underneath the bridge. I'm going to go up there and see if any of the boats are just like lying on the ground right now. Yeah, let's well, stay away from any big trees right now. There's power lines everywhere too. That's why, that's the main reason I want to get, one, I'd get blown off the road. Two, the idea of a tree branch bringing a power line down on top of me, not exactly a pleasant thought right now. Don't even want to go too fast right now. Ah, it looks like my only option is to actually go on the bridge if I want to see the boats. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe I can just get up to the side here. I really don't want to go over this bridge right now. I just could see like a gust of wind freaking slamming me into the side of it. All of a sudden you're getting like a first person view of what it's like to swim underneath a bridge. If I don't hit the bottom because it's so freaking shallow. I'm just going to go real slow over here. Dude, it is. It's sitting. That one's touching the bottom. Dude, that boat is, it's touching the bottom. That's crazy. That other one isn't. I wonder if that one is just in a place where it's lower or if it's supposed to be like that. It looks like a lot of the boats already got out of here, so you can't even really see anything. There are some that are still there. All right, I don't want to spend as little time on this bridge as possible. Doing it, doing it for, doing it for the tube, y'all. But I just want to get the heck off of this. Like, I know I'm like, oh, you're so crazy out in a hurricane, but trust me, I don't want to be on this bridge. Oh, dude, you guys, remember we did the photo shoot right here with Maria Mew on the XR1200, and it was like water all the way up to the seawall. Yeah, all these things are on the, on the ground right now. That's nuts. Okay, I need to, whoo, shoo. Let's go back, okay? Yeah, I'm not even gonna ride all the way around. Let's freaking just hop the curb here real quick and go back because this wind is really starting to pick up. Yeah, I'm not gonna even go over, go over 20 miles an hour right now on the bridge. It is just too windy to freaking chance anything. God, I'm not going to lie to you. I really want to take a picture from like the top here. <laughs> this is, I should not do. Oh, I really want to take a picture though. Oh. Okay, one picture and then I'm freaking out of here. All right. Okay, this has got to be it. Okay, let's roll. Oh, it's crazy all that stuff down there like that. Yeah, it is picking up. It's time to go home. This is getting tight. This is getting to the point where I'm like, yay, I got my picture. Now let's go home before it gets bad. Well, that bad part is starting. If this was a movie, this is right about when I'd really start start regretting things. Luckily and unluckily, both in both sometimes, life ain't a movie. So let's get home. Bro, y'all waiting at a stop. It's the apocalypse. It's the apocalypse. All right. What you do is you look like this, and then you go. Come on, man. You ain't got to wait at no red light during the apocalypse. Dude, who let them leave that banner up there during a hurricane? Yo, the leasing sign? The banner up during a hurricane coming? Come on, guys. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this stuff is like blowing me sideways. Yeah, there you go. He was behind me before. There you go. Just run it, bud. See, he's learning. He stopped before. 
Now he gets it, it's the apocalypse! Anything goes! <laughs> it's time to go home. <laughs> oh, just a couple more rivers. Look how empty the freaking river is, man. That's wild. You guys saw that. It's, uh, oh, trust me, all that water's coming back. <laughs> it's going to come back and then some. Dude, a homeboy out here getting his last run in with the AirPods in? Come on. I mean, I don't have any room to talk, but still. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I'm going. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm not even messing around anymore. I'm actually heading home. All right, just a little bit farther. Please, I gotta, I gotta go over one more bridge. <laughs> I could just make it over one more bridge. I, see, the retention ponds are full, but the Hillsborough River in the bay is like emptied right now. They left up all their freak, all this stuff too? Come on, man, that's gonna be freaking, that's gonna be 20 miles away from here after this hurricane's over. Give me a break. I just want to get one last look in this river at all these boats that are on the ground. Then I'll go home, I swear. Nuts. All right, I lied. One last detour, because I want to take some pictures of these boats that are all on the ground out here. Whoa, like pushes you along. It's like you use peer at your own risk. No shit right now, huh? All right. Okay. It's literally like the worst part of the storm is supposed to be here in like, uh, probably like 20 minutes now. Uh, I think I, I really, okay. Really, really, really this time, I'm actually going home, fate. <laughs> I promise you, whoever's in charge up there who sees me keep tempting you, uh, I am actually going home, I promise. Ooh, yeah, like just in time too. I think it's really just now is actually that band. I, I had an hour when I left, so it's gotta be getting pretty close right now. Homie. Oh, the apocalypse is coming. At least I got a motor. Although I guess we'll be in, uh, <laughs> if this gets bad enough to freaking uh, saturate my air filter, home away on the bicycle is going to be in better shape than me. All right, if I can just make it inside my house without a giant log falling on my head, I got away with it once again. I'll never learn my lesson. Wait, let me get inside and say that. All right, guys, so it is, uh, it's gusting pretty hard right now. It just started to get bad like this. I just got in the house, got my wet clothes off, and... Uh, basically went out here and I'm like, okay, yep, it is actually getting bad now. So I'm going to try to get this video uploaded before I lose power. I assume with the way this wind's blowing, uh, I could lose power anytime between the next one second and like the next uh, maybe couple of hours, depending on how hard the wind gets. So if you're watching this video today on Wednesday, it was recorded today and uploaded today. Oh, dude, I'm literally like stuff is falling all out of the trees right now. It's really dramatic when it hits my tin roof. If you're watching this today, it was filmed today and uploaded today. Uh, so we'll, we'll see if I can get it up before the, before the power goes out. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you're new here and you're searching hurricane videos and you happen to find mine, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And, uh, oh, mackerel. <laughs> uh oh, there it goes. Uh oh. Uh, yeah. Like I said, this is, oh shoot, this is all happening now, like, probably like, I don't know, like 15 minutes, 20 minutes after I got back, so it's really, I was uh, right, in, well, I wasn't right on time, I didn't invent it, and the, uh, the news was right on time with when the hurricane was supposed to be getting here, so let's go edit this. Till next time, y'all, keep it weird. Oh, and P.S., uh, since I'm gonna upload this today, keep tuned, make sure you subscribe, uh, and keep tuned, because I'll go around, I'll do another motorcycle ride, and we'll just see like if any damage was done and what it looks like the next day. See y'all then.